Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to save your settings to disk, or to device rather I should say. Um, now he calls this preferences and I'm going to call them persistent so that it saves across runs. Um, I have an existing app with a settings page built in that I change the colors across the entire app. I'm going to write those colors out to disk so that next time I run my app the colors stay. Um, I'm going to be using the preferences interface from .NET Maui, actually, actually .NET. Preferences will store these data types, Boolean double, in 32 single, in 64 string date time. Notice it does not string colors. Um, in order to write them out, we call preferences.default.set. It also works without the defaults. <coughs> and you give it a key and you give it a value. To get them, you read them back in, same way, preferences.default.get, the key, and then you give it a default value here. Um, the default value is in case you can't find it. Um, I like to use this check for a key here to make sure that it's actually there, and if it is not there, I'll load my own defaults. So let's show you where we're at. This is the app I have. As I pick Houston Astros, Phillies, whatever, I ended the Rockies here. not letting me kill the app. There it is. Well, my app is being silly today. All right, well, we'll, we'll come back to that. But what I want to do is when I close this app and restart it, the um, colors stay. So my emulator is being stupid, so I'll just stop. Okay, so to pull this off, we just need a little bit of code. Actually, not even too much code. I'm back in on change, and I've set my color here. So Team Text holds the, holds the current color I've chosen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to capture that color and convert it to a string and write that string at the disk or at the device. So I'm going to convert this application to current resources Team Text into a color. Now, this might be a little clunky, the way I'm doing this, but it works. So I've converted these guys to a color. In the resources file, they're just a string, so I've converted them over to a color that I can write back out. Um, I had to do this because if I tried to just convert this to a string, I got a very weird ARGB value that did not convert back. So I'm going to write out a string. This will set my preferences. This will be team back. That's it. This writes out to device. And I tested this when I built this. I tested it on Android and I tested it on Windows. I don't have an iOS device to test it on, but I'm assuming it works. To read it back in, we're going to go to the code behind for our main page, because that's the first thing that loads. I'll put this into the constructor. So I'm going to create my two color variables. I'm going to check to see if the preference is there. Since I wrote the code, I know that if one is set, the other is set. So I'm just going to check for team text. I'm going to use the deprecated from hex. It works. It just um, they don't let Microsoft doesn't like us to use it. And then I'm going to default to the pirates just in case nothing loads up. I'll come with a color I like. T 
key back. Am I missing a quote somewhere? It's definitely angry at me. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Hmm. So I set the text and set the color. That's only if it pulls up. Now I load the default here just in case something is wrong with team text or it's corrupted. Um, I'm also going to set my else here and force my colors to be the pirates. I'm choosing not to use my resources here just in case something gets corrupted with my resources I have a color that I know works I hard code it so I've read read back my preferences that I wrote before I check to make sure that they're read them back if not I set some default colors and I set them Alright, so I'm going to pause it and run it, see that it works. Alright, so the project's running. Let I ran it, changed the colors, and stopped it. Let's run the program again. There we are. It's my pitch counter. I run it. If it comes to something other than pirates, I know I did it. Why? That's weird. <sighs> All right, so we pause and see what he did wrong. I see my issue. I wrote text back twice, which is why I came back in in gray. When I fix that, everything should be fine. Alright, so when I change that to back, it works. If I make this app go away, then run it again. If it'll let me, boy, the simulator's slow. There it is. It comes back in the same color it was when I left. Outstanding. Alright, so this works. Because of the way this is set up, because I write the preferences out the disk, or out the device, I should say, using set, and then I read the preferences back in when I need them. Alright, thanks for watching. Good luck to you.